Hi, my name is Aile, and today I'm doing an overview and a review of Ashen's Scoring Cello by Wavelet Audio. Ashen's Scoring Cello is a solo cello sample library designed for dark, atmospheric compositions as well as for scoring soundtracks and trailers. What intrigued me about this library is that the samples recorded for it were performed by one of my favorite doom metal artists, Alder Anash. He is an experimental cellist who creates improvised minimal classical music influenced by doom metal, ambient, post-rock and noise. If you enjoy doom and dark ambient music, I recommend checking out his work. And now let me show you Ashen scoring cello. You can use this library with the free version of Contact or with the full retail version of Contact 6. The library is separated into two different components. This first is a playable instrument which includes 12 different articulations. Some are classic articulations like sustain, legato and pizzicato, and some are non-standard articulations like credit card strums, a very raw sul ponticello and percussion on the cello body. Here we have controls to change the parameters for each articulation, like vibrato, solo mode, legato speed, attack and release. There are three cello tones available and two reverbs, a room and a hall. This is a quick demo of each articulation on the playable instrument. You can find a more in-depth walkthrough of the articulations on Wavelet Audio's website. The second component of this library is the Performance Designer. It works similar to a loop sequencer. You have five tracks. This is the mixer and controls for each track, which include volume, panning, 
pitch modulation, a high or low pass filter depending on the sample that is currently loaded on the track, and stereo width. This is the reverb for the overall mix, which includes the room and hall I mentioned before, plus a very large reverb called black hole. For each track, you can pick one sample out of the five sample categories, which are melody, harmony, percussion, rhythm, and other. You can change the key of the pre-recorded loops and synchronize them to the session tempo. Here are the buttons to mute, solo, and clear the track. Press this button to pick a random sample in the category you have selected. Next, we have the effects window. Here you can select which track you are applying the effects to. We have a few popular native instruments effects, like Transient Master, Hot Solo, Van 51, and Tape Saturator. You can turn them on and off, and the controls are quite simple. Here we have the presets window. The preset information tells you which samples make up each loop. Presets can also be accessed here, where they are organized by tempo. Lastly, this is the sample browser and random generator window. To use the browser, simply select a track, then a category, and then pick a sample from that category. You can also pick a random sample from each category with this icon. The random generator is arguably where you can have the most fun. Select how many tracks you want. Then you can either select a category for each track and get a random sample from that category, or leave it open and get a random sample from the whole library. You can also either specify if you want to get a random sample within the parameters of certain key signatures or a specific BPM, or again, leave it wide open and get any combination of loops. All performances are designed to work together. This is a quick demo of the kind of loops you can generate with the Performance Designer. The Performance Designer is not an automatic music generator, but it's a tool to complement your arrangements. You can use it in many different ways, like generating rhythm patterns to enrich your beats and your percussion, you can create harmony and then compose a melody on top, you can use it for inspiration by generating loops, there are many ways to get creative with it. Overall, I found the whole library to be pretty straightforward and easy to use. I composed the music on this video using mostly Ashen Scoring Cello. If you are interested on a detailed breakdown of how I composed this track using Ashen Scoring Cello, then that video is available on my Patreon. So as far as my final thoughts on this product, this library has a very specific sound palette that is better suited for genres like dark ambient, like doom, like experimental, it's great for sort of like thriller and horror trailer music, it's not for traditional classical writing, because it's very raw and very aggressive in tone. My favorite part of this library was definitely the performance designer. Uh, there's a lot you can do with that. I had a lot of fun resampling and cutting and warping and stretching and just having all sorts of fun with those samples. That was That's just the way I like to work. I really enjoy working with samples. So that was definitely my favorite part of this library. As far as the playable instrument itself, I do wish the legato was more seamless. It does sound like MIDI to me 
But having said that, I still think this library is worthwhile. It's just a matter of understanding where its strengths lie and of course its limitations and then using it accordingly. But yeah, I had a lot of fun using this particular sample library in this project and I'm gonna use it a lot more in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. The track I created using Ashen Scoring Cello is called Goddess of the Dawn and is now available on all streaming platforms. You can also listen to it right here. The links for the Ashen Scoring Cello library and for Alder and Ashes music and social media are also in the description box. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.